Oh, oh, too hot. Oh, too hot. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He doesn't even know. Oh, he doesn't even know. You have a beaker and you are wondering how long will it take for cooling? With physics and calculus, you will know how. And we're gonna teach you right now. First, you start with Newton's law of cooling, and then you separate the variables and calculate the constant of integration to model the cooling curve. Newton's law of cooling simply states that at any constant ambient temperature, you can calculate dt with respect to time. That's a hot new star. To model the cooling curve Newton's law of cooling simply states that At any constant ambient temperature You can calculate dt with respect to time Regardless of how hot you start that starts at 100 degrees Celsius um, and the ambient temperature is 24 and we know that after two minutes it is 96 degrees Celsius so here we have Newton's law of cooling it says that the d change in temperature with respect to time is equal to negative k times delta t k is a constant um, after separating the variables and integrating both sides we get to here and now we just need to find k and c c is pretty easy because once you plug in zero for t you can get that's e to the c equals 76 and that's actually better for our purposes so now we have here that's in it that's putting in the constant of integration and then now we just have to find k uh, right here we plug in the data for two minutes and 96 degrees celsius and we solve and we get 0 0.027034 plug that in and here is the equation that when graphed will show the change in temperature for this substance 